happy weekend. I am here getting ready for yet another week in my planner. The weeks really do seem like they are flying by. It's kind of hard to believe. Well, I'm excited because I have two kits from Saucy Stickers Co. They're both the Welcome Home kit, so they are completely coordinating. In fact, you can see here the small boxes or the full boxes are the same. This is the Hobonichi Cousin kit. That's like a functional type uh, planner kit. And this is, does she call them journal kits or bullet journal kits or something? So much more decorative. And much like I did a couple of weeks ago, I'm just going to combine them. Um, let's see, that would have been this week where I just, I used elements from both and it was just, it was a whole lot of fun. So this past week, hang on, sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable. So this past week I used just a functional planner kit. And so I had to bring in uh, my own washi tape and things like that. Um, I did not look too closely and I'm getting to my page here. Here we go. Didn't look too closely. Do I have, uh, well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six washi strips, but honestly, they're very plain. And so I think I'm going to use these washi tapes. So this one, I cannot remember where I got it from, but it has the same type of colors in the browns, the greens, um, even the gold kind of matches the warmth. So I want to use some of this. This is essentially a rose gold foil, which again, just seems to fit. And then I have these two from Simply Gilded a couple years ago, no, last summer. And it's gold foil, but it's a warm cream. So I think I will use these and maybe a couple of these kind of brick looking ones. Yeah, it'll give me a lot to work with, whoops. All right. So I have confirmed that I should have just enough pages to get me through June in this planner. And I showed you last time, um, I wasn't able to do this as a plan with me, but I did give a good flip and explanation of all of my June pages. And so right now um, I'm setting up for the week of, well here, so it's the week of May 30th through June, what is that, June 5th, and that will be this week, so it's going to be over here on this side, let's see, yeah, I just, I really, I really like this washi, and it's almost gone, which is sad, but oops, I almost forgot, I want to, I want to bring it down a little bit, okay, so my angle is not that great, and there's a good amount of lighting for, I think, the, like, the video, but it's a little bit dark here for me to see details, like the fine, faint lines, which is okay. I'll just kind of, kind of eyeball it. Let's see. There we go. A little speck of something. Usually, if I get it mostly straight, I'm totally fine with that. It's only when something is really <laughs> cockeyed that I get stressed. Okay, so we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I have to say I have absolutely been enjoying this week, uh, mostly. Uh, I didn't want to say anything before... Um, I had jury duty, but I had jury duty this past week, and uh, I don't know if you've ever had that before, but you have to call in. <laughs> Oops, I may not have left myself enough space at the top there. Uh-oh. That's going to be a little bit bothersome, but I can still... Ugh. problem is, is you cannot peel tape off of Stalogy paper. Oh, 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 it's peeling. Oh, that was weird. Okay, I know I'm like right in the middle of trying to tell you about jury duty, but let me get this straightened out first so I can concentrate. Okay, that's much better. Wow, that was kind of cool. 
Okay, so I had jury duty and you have to call in like uh, late Sunday afternoon evening to find out if you have jury duty the next day. Um, and you don't know if you're gonna have it. You don't know if you're gonna have it uh, for the one day and you know, it just, there's so, it basically you have to play every single day by ear and you have no idea what the day is going to hold. Um, I didn't know I was excused for Monday, but told I had to call back. And so I had to call back on Monday night to find out if they needed me for Tuesday. Um, and it wasn't until Wednesday night when they excused me for the rest of the week that uh, was kind of like my scheduled time. So in the end, I didn't have to go in and do anything, um, but that meant I had all of these days with no plans and until Wednesday, I didn't know that I could make plans. So yeah, it's been weird, it's been weird. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and notes pages. So that was one of the reasons why I just did my planning and didn't film a plan with me last week was because of that. Um, it was the day that I needed to plan and the way that I needed to plan and set up. I didn't want to um, say that I was preparing for jury duty. It just didn't feel like, it felt like a privacy thing that now that it's over, um, I feel like I can talk about it, but in real time, I wanted to just just leave that. So, yeah, that's how my week went. So in the end, um, I didn't set an alarm this week. Uh, we took a full 100% break from homeschool this week. Um, even though we are done with our school year, we still were trying to keep fresh with math or some language arts and things like that. Oh, you know what I want to do is the thing I've been loving with these little date stickers. Oops, come back page. And stack them here as like a little future calendar. So I had all this free time this week. And it's been great. I don't know. Like I'm thinking back to the Christmas season and the new year. Um, let's be real. Even if we take some time off and have an extended vacation during the Christmas holiday season, we're not really resting. Uh, not completely. Our mind is full of you know, getting presents and wrapping and should we bake cookies? Um, so it's, you know, it's a break in a way, but it's not restful. And this has been so restful. Okay, so I know these stickers are a little wonky, but it's really hard to layer them perfectly. And I kind of like how it gives them just a little bit of that, uh, I don't know, like homemade feel. <laughs> Curated imperfection, can I say that here? <laughs> okay, so I have quite a few full boxes. Let me just double check. I have two of these. There's an extra one over here, so I probably won't use that. So let me do my favorite ones. Okay, so this totally screams quiet Sunday afternoon to me, which is how we like to try to arrange our Sunday afternoons. So I should have this sticker shop linked in the description box, but it is Saucy Stickers Co. I don't have a coupon or anything like that. I actually, I am not um, on a PR team for anything except the essential oils that I use um, are from a company called 
Simply Earth. And I love them because they are completely pure, top, you know, top of the line quality oils, but they're at reasonable prices and it's not um, from a direct sales company. Like you're actually just buying from a company and it's a small woman owned business. So I love supporting that. And I love the recipes. So instead of just like buying oils and trying to figure out how to use them safely and effectively in my home and in my life, they um, have this monthly subscription box and you can get every month you get four oils and they're again top quality pure oils and you get recipe cards and you get some of the ingredients you need like maybe some uh, little containers or uh, maybe a shampoo base or a conditioner base I think um, sneak peek although by the time this comes out uh, I think next month's oil subscription box will come out. There's some aloe vera, I think, uh, as a base in some of the recipes. So it, I can follow these recipes and I have, you know, like a homemade shampoo and a homemade conditioner and homemade bug spray and homemade uh, window cleaner and perfume and all of this stuff that's clean and it's awesome. So yeah, that's actually the only thing. I am not PRing for any planner shops right now. Um, I'm not doing any giveaways. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm just, uh, I'm just living my life over here and sharing what I love and buying my own things. Okay, so I'm pretty sure what I did last week is just write the dates at the top because I didn't, oh, is there maybe a second set of dates on this one? Oh, there is. If I hadn't have flipped through and looked at the um, two weeks ago when I also had two kits combined, I would not have seen that. Wait, I am on Monday, right? Yes, okay. So they're tiny, but that's also why I love this kind of top little banner section because in the end I'm not taking up a ton of room but I am um, drawing my attention and, and being able to see the date and not have it lost on the page so that's the benefit oops that's a little that's tilted up isn't it there we go that's the benefit of this little section this little header that's good so not only have I been sleeping in this week and my kids and I have just been kind of going with the flow, but I, oh, there we go, cleaned out my van yesterday and we are not in our vehicles very often. Well, my kids and I are not in our van very often. I try not to go places on purpose, actually. Um... So our van doesn't get as dirty, um, maybe as the next person's, but it was getting pretty bad. And we spent all last summer, well, we were limited last summer. We weren't able to go to the beach as much as we wanted, but there was still sand that we had tracked in because, you know, it's the beach from last summer that just never got vacuumed up very well. And um, every time my kids came home from like Awana and all of this kind of stuff, they would... Um, eat a sucker and leave the stick, you know, in a cup holder and a car seat or something like that. And so there was just so much going on, so much. And uh, had to clean it out, had to vacuum. I even took the car seats out. So we still have one uh, child who is in the full five point harness, forward facing harness. Um, because even though she's in preschool now, she's on the smaller end and, and we're a little overcautious when it comes to car seats. And then we still have one child in the, like the high-backed booster seat, 
with the seat belt adjustment. So um, it uh, adjusts the seat belt to be at his height and fit him properly. And he still has the sides on a car seat, even though he's not actually in um, like a harness or anything. I keep forgetting the number. Hang on. One, two, three. And then I actually have one child still in um, one of those lower booster seats that you just kind of sit on and it has a little armrest, but um, she could possibly move out of that soon. I'd have to check the weight and height guidelines. So we have three car seats still is, you know, in our van and I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I pulled all of them out. So we not only cleaned the car seats, but we cleaned underneath the car seats, which can gather crumbs and again, sand. And um, I pulled all the padding and the covers off of the car seats and washed them, which takes a lot of work, especially with the five point harness one, because you have to make sure you're unbuckling it properly to get the pieces off and then um, making sure you're reinstalling everything perfectly so that way it works as it's you know supposed to when you put it back in. But oh man, it feels so good. I really just want to like get in my car and drive around today. But I'm not going to do that. So that's what I had going on this past week. All right. I think that's about it. Um, I really just like to get the base of my week set up. Um, I've been doing such a great job um, enjoying my planner lately. And I'm trying to flip back a couple weeks when I really kind of started. Part of it, part of it is these kits. Um, you know, if your planner is pretty or it's um, colorful in such a way that is like beautiful to you, it can be so much easier and more enticing to use it. So starting um, two weeks ago, just filling things in and later adding stickers to the page. I just, I really loved it so much. And every time I'm in my planner, it makes me want to use it again more. And it's kind of funny. Um, yes, I do love writing. Um, I do love actually putting pen to paper and putting down the things and putting down the stickers. But what I love more is looking back at a full page with memories and back planning and tasks marked off. So anytime I get a day or two behind, it's actually the thought of not being able to flip through my memories that spurs me on to get my planner and not always the desire to write. So I don't know if that made sense because I think we can all feel sometimes that we just, we don't want to write like I don't want to write in my planner right now the the act of journaling right now would not maybe bring me pleasure I want to do something else and in those moments sometimes I think about well you maybe don't want to write right now but you will regret not writing and you'll be glad you did it and you'll love flipping through the pages tomorrow that kind of thing so yeah oops those two are sticking together so this first week in it to me is kind of like the first week of June, holy cow. And so um, I put it after my June monthlies, which I just flipped through while I was chatting and it will carry me, you know, straight into the month of June. So I am all set up. Um, I think that's it. I really don't have anything else I need to put on here and plan right now. Um, so what I will do is tuck these stickers in and they'll be in my planner either here or in the front cover. So here you can see these are the leftover ones um, that I'm still using this weekend with the kit that I'm in. And I will just be able to pull in and use the stickers and fill that white space and really just build and continue adding to my planner slash memory keeper. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Even though it was very basic, um, I had fun chatting and updating you on my life. 
I hope you enjoyed watching and it encouraged and inspired you to get in your own planner or journal or both and that you have a lovely weekend. Bye.